Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, one of the subjects that we're going to talk is about gene therapy. And to the cardiovascular surgery, when I start, when I actually start the, uh, doing the transplants, probably some will remember uh, the first mechanical uh, heart transplant done by Dr. Liotta and Dr. Cooley in Texas, Houston. Uh, when they did the first patient, the main problem they had that was a breaking of erythrocytes. And this machine, this heart, worked for a couple days and the patient died. Working as a resident with Dr. Liotta, we had work specifically in the endothelial cells. Endothelial cells, how it nutrients, how uh, deliver oxygen, and all the physiological, how to cultivate the, the endothelial cells. Posteriorly, I was in Canada, and I was working with the uh, crystalloid uh, hypertonic, uh, hypothermic uh, saline solution. Probably uh, somebody remembers the open heart surgery we used to use when the heart was uh, uh, we stopped to do the bypass. We used to do, use this solution. In this solution, we at the University of Sherbrooke uh, in Canada, we used to put bubbles even into the uh, in the into the back of this uh, solution. So, with the understanding that some oxygen would come, why? Because there was in the literature there was a fish over there into the North Pole, Alaska, that didn't have any hemoglobin. They were living just by oxygen diffusion. With these two factors, endothelial cells, oxygen, and hypothermia, I start, to, I would like to talk in regards to this subject. Well, the next one. Uh, very much the endothelial gene can control hypoxia. Uh, what is, or oh, hypoxia is controlled by endothelial gene. There is a gene in the endothelial cells that under hypoxia behaves different. The next question is, endothelial gene control vascular metabolic diseases? Can control? An evolution e gene, a gene that has go through evolution in, in vascular endothelial cells thanks to hypoxia is very much in, the, uh, in certain specific places. Evolution regime from endothelial cells may have the qualities to change and prevent vascular metabolic diseases. There is two areas in the world that is in the uh, uh, Tibetan in the highlands of the Andes in South America. There is populations and animals that live. And I would like to talk today with three examples. The first example will be the avian eggs and the animals and the humans. And make a comparison how the endothelial cells behave in contrast with the oxygen, or that means hypo, hypo, hypoxia.